Hello, I'm Bood and welcome to the channel as always. Thanks for joining me. Your view is the most important thing and I've got a very special guest in the office today. It is Little Bood, aka Fletcher, my eldest son. How are you doing? Good. You're good? You're having a good day off? Yeah. What are you spending your time doing today? Playing on my Xbox. Playing Xbox? What game? Minecraft. It's Minecraft and Roblox. And Roblox. He loves it. Absolutely. He's good at it. He's like, are you a Minecraft pro? I'm a Minecraft god. He's a Minecraft god. So that's like the elite player. He is pretty good at it, to be fair. Anyway, thank you for checking out another video. This is called Bood's Favourite Tactic versus the World. Now, when I mean the world, I mean five of my closest friends in the community. We've got Limo. You've met Limo from Liverpool. We've got Big Joy Page. Brian Kane. Greeno. Do you remember Greeno from last week? Who came to our house? And... CP and CP is the legend that bought us these shirts and that hat. So thanks, CP. Thanks, CP. Thanks. CP. CP. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I'm going to get into the video and explain what it's all about in a second. But Fletcher's got a message for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and put a comment down below. Brilliant. He's a professional. He's going to take my channel over one day, aren't you? When you're older, aren't you? All right, so see you later. See you later. So then welcome to the video. It's a summer holiday, it's a kid's summer holiday. So he's at home now for a long time. My holiday doesn't start till next Thursday. I'm very excited. I've got 18 days off, can't wait. I'm going to France. But for now, we are here with Boots' favorite tactic versus the world. This was actually Greeno's idea, sort of, and we've kind of changed it up a little bit. Basically, I have a tactic that I love, that I stick to, that I've pretty much used as most of you will know, for a couple of years now. Um, and I just wanted to simulate it, we wanted to test it against some of my closest friends and hardcore football manager players' tactics. So in our little group, we discussed a few options of who we could use for this simulation. And we just came up with Newcastle United. None of us are Newcastle United fans, but we all quite like Newcastle. Got nothing against Newcastle United. I absolutely love Newcastle, which apparently has just been voted the greatest city to go out for a beer and a drink in the country, who's in the paper this morning. Um, so, what we're gonna do is, I've set up, it's like laboratory conditions, as best I can. This, we're gonna have the same starting point, and we're just gonna simulate a season, with my tactic, and five other guys, and we're just gonna see how they how they do, who's the most successful, um, can we do better, can we equal what Newcastle United did last year, which was fantastic, are we gonna do worse? I've done some little graphically, graphically? Done some little graphics at the end, a little graph or two for you to show everything in one place. Um, but I think this was a perfect club to choose because I know they've got, well, they're owned by a country now, they've got loads of money, but I don't think last year they were massively, they, you wouldn't have said they were going to be top four from where they'd come from. They've got a good squad, a decent first 11, um, but it fit our tactics, all them things come into play. Am I going to get an injury? Will CP get an injury to a certain player and so on and so on. So any, you know, we can, you can't make it perfect, um, but it's just perfect because can we at least at least replicate what Eddie Howe did last year? Because he did do a good job. To be fair to him, they got to a Carabao Cup final, which is awesome. Although they did get beat off the mighty mighty Manchester United. So I'm just going to show you a few things first. This is where the game's got him. The book is in the game in seventh, which is pretty good, right? But obviously we know they finished fourth in this season. Now this is not an updated database. We are all using the standard Newcastle squad, no extra players, no Tenale. Um, but what will make it a little harder is we know the game. Everyone else's squads are locked in, but there'll still be a few transfers made. So it might make it a little bit tougher. A simulated pre-season, so we'll all have that same pre-season and we're all gonna start against Leicester. I've just got this one save point. I'll just reload it, put the person's tactic in place, simulate till the 1st of June, or in June-ish, and then we'll run through it. I've set all the coaches up. When it comes to staff responsibilities, I've set them all. So staff are going to be doing everything. This is nothing to do with the actual manager in play. It's just a tactic and a season simulation. I've auto-selected all the set-piece takers, the penalty takers, and the captains. So we're all starting at the same point. But like I said, you know, you can't make it exact because of injuries, our tactics. I, I couldn't wait. I thought this was quite fun to do. 
I've not looked at Newcastle during this game, but obviously the game's given them some money and they've obviously got a lot more money than that. But we're not making any deals. There are none going to happen. Let's have a quick look at the squad. Arranged by ability. I and mean, you know most of them. And I've had a look through it. And I genuinely believe they've got a good, they've got a good first team 11. And then, you know, I think he starts getting a bit thin. It's going to take him some time. But I think Newcastle are going to be a powerhouse because of their money in real life. But I mean, I'm not going to show you all of them. But they have got some really, really, really good players. And do I think it suits my tactic? I, I want to play with an AMC and I don't really think they've got anyone who can naturally play there. So it might suit some of the lads better because we've got a couple of variations on a 4-3-3. We've got two different kinds of 4-4-2 four, four, to come. So we'll see. So I thought we'd do my season first. Let's lay it out there with mine and go for it. Now, I am not a tactics guy. Most of you know that, right? I never look into the depth of these tactics. I don't pull this thought into it. Oh, if I have this guy here, this guy can run around him, all that kind of stuff. I just like this from a couple of years ago. I've changed little bits now and again. But that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. I mean, I'll show you it quickly. There you go. Now, what I am going to do with this tactic is make them all available to download. If you check the description, there should be a little file there that you can unzip. And it'll have all our tactics in. So by the end of the video, you might think, do you know what? I like that. If you can do that with that tactic with Newcastle, what can I do with that tactic with Newcastle or anyone else? And there are different variations. There's some similarities. There's some that are bad. So yeah, it's going to be quite good to get into. Now we've jumped forward and we're on the 4th of June. And this is the end of mine. Now I know what I've done and I kind of know what a few others have done. I've not looked into them all in depth, but obviously I've had to simulate a season so you can see certain things when you get to the end of that season before you can save it and turn it off. Um, so I don't know everything, but I do know mine. And I'm not going to lie, it's kind of played out in parts how I felt it would. My tactic, you will score a ton of goals. You probably let in a lot of goals. It's a bit Kevin Keegan style really, but that's what I like about it. It's entertaining. But I was really chuffed with it. And we'll start with the Carabao Cup, the League Cup. The Milk Cup. Do you remember when it's called that? It's showing my age. Um, Nottingham Forest beat them 6-1. And then we got knocked out by Greeno's Blackburn on penalties. But check that out. Eh? I mean, what could I do if I was a manager? I always say that. We are better than the AI. But I was so happy with this. Knocking out, right? Look at this. They knocked out Everton 4-3. They beat United 5-0. Spurs 4-1. They beat City have that man say Middlesbrough North Benz bit of a derby-ish should be beating them and then they beat Arsenal in what looks like the best FA why can't my cup finals when I'm doing a series and a live com be as entertaining as that so I've picked up a trophy but what about the Premier League well I've got to say I was pretty chuffed when I saw that third so I improved on Eddie Howe by getting above Manchester United. A bit different than real life because obviously City won the league. Liverpool won this league. Um, now you can see all the stats there. You can see the goals scored, goals against, um, goal difference and points. But like I said at the end, I'm going to put it all together for you so you can look at it and evaluate it for yourself. So next up, we're going to move on to Greeno. I'm sure most of you know who he is by now. Me and him made a couple of videos last week. Uh, versus where we went head to head and season one of our director football challenge. We are going to do a season two. It should be out soon, hopefully. Um, now, each one of the lads sent me a short paragraph of with an explanation, basically, of their tactic. Now, the facial graphics I'm going to use in this video are all from the APL, our players within the APL, my American Premier League. If you haven't seen that, go and check it out. Um, because they were just there on hand. So they're a bit comedy. So in Greeno's own words, I like to play a 4-3-3, starting with a halfback. He drops in defence to allow more freedom for my two wingers, a right-sided, inside forward on attack, and an advanced playmaker on the left to provide creativity for my striker and inside forward. This tactic creates a lot of chances, but you really need elite attackers for it to work well. In my 10 years at Feyenoord, I have won the league 10 times, four of those seasons went unbeaten. I've also won the Champions League four times in the last six seasons, and I got to four finals in a row, losing one. So it looks like, on paper and from his experience with Feyenoord, this is a great tactic, although if you did watch our head-to-head, -head, I did beat him. Just. Some people say it was I was lucky, but I don't care. And um, now again, I'm not going to go through it all in in massive detail because I'm going to put it down there for you guys to download and check out for yourself. Like I said at the end of the video, you better evaluate all the stats. And if you want to have a go of it, 
have a go with it. Onto the Carabao Cup for Greeno. And <laughs> he's gonna <laughs> You'll hate this. Because he's a Blackburn fan, he absolutely hates Burnley. Um but Burnley knocked him out with his tactic. Onto the FA Cup and he got all the way to the fifth round with his Super Nord or whatever it's called. And um, beating Middlesbrough, drew with Plymouth. Then went on to beat Plymouth and then they were knocked out by Spurs on penalties close. But in the Premier League, he finished third. City won this one. Liverpool was second. Arsenal fourth this time. Man United fifth. But the stats are different. And when you see them all together, you'll be able to really compare it. We had 79 points as well. So right back to the start. And this time we're moving on to Brian Kane, or as he's known by his friends, Kano. Sometimes Captain Kano, the legendary Glaswegian. So this is his tactic. Same formation as Greeno, but apparently it's a little bit different. My 4-3-3 tactic is pretty basic, but I feel like it gives me good balance. I have the two inside forwards sitting narrower to let the full backs get forward to get crosses in. It gives good attacking options. I also have the two inside forwards switch during the game to try and confuse the AI. I use this tactic with Bonnie Rig Rose, who are they? The Mighty Rangers, Hamburg, Arsenal and Almeria. It has done well with every club at different levels and different countries. So I was interested to see how this worked because it is the same formation, but maybe it'll show us how different roles and the way you set a tactic up, which I'm pretty clueless with, um, work. So, how did Brian Kane do? Well, he too went out straight away in the second round of the Carabao Cup, getting beat by Forest 3-2. In the FA Cup, though, he did pretty well, getting all the way to the semi-finals of his tactic, beating Huddersfield, Portsmouth. Look, every game's at St. James's Park. Bradford City beat Man City. That's good, to be fair. Just couldn't beat the biggest club in Manchester, although it was five, look at that. Five, five penalties, this close. It's getting to a cup final there, Brian. But in the Premier League, this tactic took a hit. You can see the stats for yourself. But again, I'm going to show you in a bit more detail. But yeah, Liverpool won the league. So we've had Liverpool City back to Liverpool. Uh, Man United third. Look at Leicester. Bit random. Um, so yeah, sixth. Back to the start again. And this time we're moving on to one of my good friends, Joe Page. Most of you will know Joe Shirley if you've watched The Journeyman Adventure. Big, big lover of the 442. And this is his version of the 442. We've got a bit of a running joke in that series. How he's always trying to pressurise me into be becoming a 442 manager. Um, but I was quite surprised I, the way he always talks about 442. I thought he'd have just a flat. 442, but you know, he's he's put something into this. So this formation is a formation I evolved when struggling with Derby County, but led to back-to-back -back promotions. He's not a will beater, it just suits the players bought by Warren and Rossner before him. It suited a 442, but I like attacking. I always love Kevin Keegan's Newcastle. So I looked at what was working for others, and then this tactic was born. Well, 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 Joey Page, Page it, Page you can call him anything you want, I'm sure he doesn't mind. Well, that's not a bad start. We all love late, love late 4 4 2. Getting all the way to the Carabao Cup final. The fact they lost it all to Southampton, I'd, I'd be gutted. I'd be gutted. Uh, beating Everton, they're not Man United out on the way. Bolton, Swansea, Sheffield United. I mean, Sheffield United gave him a game there, though, didn't they? And then the Southampton. Wow, PG. I still think that's good, though. In the FA Cup, he faced Derby. He's, he's a season ticket holder at Derby County. His beloved Rams um, and battered them 4-1 and then got battered in the fourth round by City 4-1. Now this is where it gets weird. Now the fact that Liverpool keep winning the league, that's weirding me out because I usually see City do it. Um, but he finished third. Different stats. Good stats to be fair. Um, on 79 points. That's me, Greeno and Page now getting third with 79 points, but in different ways. Next, it's on to Christian Peter, known to his friends as CP, absolute legend. All these lads are legends. They all support me, they're all patrons, but they're all friends. I've known them for years now. But CP's been great to me, getting me and the kids Switzerland shirts for the World Cup, buying the kids hats and so on. Yeah, he's, he's a proper nice guy. From Switzerland, pretty much grew up in South Africa, lived a lot of time in the States, now lives in, bloody, where does he live now? Dubai, I think it is with his wife, who is a movie producer. He's, he's too cool for school, is CP. Well, this is his tactic, and these are his words. I've used this sporadically in my journeyman save. I won the regional safe league. What's that? The Telcom Knockout Cup twice. Never heard of it. The MTN8 and the National First Division in South Africa. 
okay. The QNB Stars League and the MRMA of Qatar Cup twice in Qatar. You can tell where he's lived, he plays where he's lived. I also won the African Nations Cup with Tunisia. I mean, it sounds great, but it didn't translate. No, because this is what I said, stuff kind of gets given away when you just holiday season, you get to the end of the season and realize your imaginary manager has been sacked. Newcastle did recover. They did finish seventh, but it wasn't with CP Satsi. He only lasted 114 days. Wow. Wow. Not very good. So I'm sorry, mate. We've been disqualified. So it looks like after the Brighton game where they were battered 5-0, it was a final straw. I mean, it wasn't going well. They did, I mean, he was still in the Carabao Cup. He'd beaten Wolves 5-2. Um, and then all, obviously all this history is someone else. I mean, look at that running at the end for the managers taking over. Doesn't necessarily mean his tactics bad. Uh, <laughs> it didn't work in this simulation and we're only getting one season shots at it. One chance each. Last but not least, we're moving on to Lee Mo. Lee Monaghan, the famous Twitch football manager streamer and one of the company directors of Evolving Mindset, the great mental health charity. You'll see it on the ad boards. I'm always talking about it. I've done as much as I can to promote Evolving Mindset. Absolutely fantastic. And so is Lee. Love him, love him to pieces. This is his tactic. It's a flat 4-4-2. And these are Lee's words about it. I've used my 4-4-2 tactic with West Ham and England on my Twitch streams. I've won the Europa Conference League and I'm currently in a title challenge in Season 2 with West Ham. It has also been very successful in PvP games in Twitch tournaments, winning two of them and reaching a semi-final in another. I've got to say this about Lee Moe, I feel like he knows his tactics. He's, he's done more than that on Twitch tournaments um, against you know guys in the community. I think he obviously uses different tactics, but I do know he quite likes a 4-4-2. And I, when I saw it, I'm like, what? D defensive wings is just something I would never have. But how's it worked for him? Well, in the Carabao Cup, it worked really, really well. Really well. Beating Forest, um, West Ham, Aston Villa, Brighton. Two legs against Arsenal. Couldn't do it though, but a semi-final in the Carabao Cup. But he does get better. Because he too... Won the FA Cup and I did my season first. And um, obviously, I knew I'd won the FA Cup when I got to the end of it with my tactic, not me personally, obviously. Um, <laughs> and Limo was the last. So I was like, part of me's like, well done, mate. And part of me's like, oh, I was the, nearly the only one, or maybe the only one to win a trophy. But as it, he could have won another one, he could have won the league. But he's done well there. Exeter, Norwich, Spurs, Plymouth, Palace. Easiest run to be fair. Come on. And then he'd love that because he's an Evertonian beating Liverpool 2 0 in the final. But in the league, he did finish fifth. So is it a cup tactic? Fantastic semi final and a victory in the FA Cup. And just fell short a little bit in that league. So let's look at it all together. So here we are with our comedy faces from the American Premier League. So you've got different brackets here where we finished in the league. The points they got, the goal difference, so his goals scored, goals conceded, and then the goal difference, where they finished in the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, and then where they're going to finish overall in this mini competition. So you can see me at the top, my tactic, it did pretty well, scored goals, let a lot of goals in, plus 44 goal difference. But obviously, when the FA Cup got to the quarterfinal at Carabao Cup, it's a great tactic, we got top, top players, and it's, it works for me. It's worked at a low level sometimes, and I've also struggled with it at a mid-range level sometimes. Um, but I think that's pretty respectable. I kind of expected that with a goal difference. Greeno, third. I know his tactics great. So got a lot less goals than me, but let in a lot less. And his uh, goal difference is better. So if you want a tactic where, you know, you're not going to score as many, but you're better defensively, and you're still pretty successful. I mean, to be fair, cups are, are just luck. You know, I could have run the simulation again. He could have won one. Um, but we've both got 79 points. Kano. Same kind of formation as Greeno, but a lot of difference to it, a lot less points, a lot less goal scored, letting more than me. Uh, but he still did well-ish, getting to an FA Cup semi-final. On the pager, he got third, and weirdly, we all got 79 points. That is the weirdest thing, I think. Um, but his tactic, his beloved attacking 4-4-2, might have let one goal in more than me, but he scored more than I did. Got to um, a semi-final, didn't do too bad in the FA Cup. Unfortunately, now as we all know, CP got sacked, so he's been disqualified. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
quality. Uh, and then finally, Limo finishing fifth. Only got 65 points in the league. Um, you can see he's got 84 goals, conceded 65, 19 goal difference, but did brilliantly in the cups. Now, I've left a question mark on the places because when I do these things sometimes, I decide I don't want to decide. It's up to you. So get involved in the comments in, in order from first place to six. I want to know who you think came out on top by looking at these stats. Now, this is our highest average rating player. And despite the difference in the tactics, a different way of playing, we all had the same player and a player I didn't even think about. I thought the AI would be playing Callum Wilson for me, but it didn't. It played, played Alexander Isaac. Isaac, however you pronounce his name. Um, and you can see his average rating for the entire season. He played the best in Greenos. Limo not far behind. Um, I mean, he played the worst in mine. And then our top goal scorer, it was the same. Alexander Isaac for every single one of us. So even though I, I won a trophy, I'd got third, and my tactics usually fantastic for strikers. I think he had the lowest average rating for me and he scored 34 goals for me. He scored more goals for everyone else in their tactics. 38 for Greeno, 36 for Kano, 36 for Pagey, 38 for Limo. But I need to pay this kid more attention because he's obviously a very good player playing in all these different formations, different styles. Came out on top for average rating, came out on top for goals. So that's it. It was just a little bit of fun. I just wanted to run this simulation against other people's tactics and have a bit of fun. And I think I might do it again in the future, but next time I might put it out there so some of you guys and get five of you with your beloved tactics to go up against mine just as a comparison and give people an insight into it and, and see how they work see if any of you could win the league with someone like Newcastle United now like I said check the description down below you'll find a download link for all the tactics they might be one you see and think I like it you might just want to try them out maybe you could try them out on the American Premier League I'll be playing it myself. I'm going to be Las Vegas Lights while I'm on holiday in France. When I get back, I'm going to make a video out of it. Why not? I can't wait to get stuck into it. And talking of the American Premier League, while I'm here, I've just released a brand new save file where I've unchecked the in-game editor. So if you own the in-game editor, you download that file, you better change it to your heart's content and have some fun. Put yourself in the game. Just run with it, man. Well, thank you for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. Make sure you do all the good stuff. Thumbs up subscribe hit the bell comment down below don't forget to leave your six in order to see who you think was the best and who was the worst i think cp was the worst fletch he got um sacked daddy did pretty well but this isn't actually fletcher it's the knight fletcher isn't it he wanted some body armor found a lot of cardboard so daddy's made him a shield some body armor and what's this hey dad and a helmet. A helmet. Yeah. So thank you as always for watching. Are you going to say anything? Like and subscribe. Yeah. He watches a lot of YouTube. So yeah. Take care everyone. Bye.